Hello, hello, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Going on a little adventure today on the Honda CRF 300L. One thing I will tell you right now, the wind is howling. Surprise, surprise. Mid-May, the wind, it's got to be 30, 35 mile per hour gust today. So why not go for a motorcycle ride? That's what I thought. So let me tell you, though, I'm not going to complain about the wind this time because yesterday it was 100 degrees or close to it out here in southwestern Utah. And the wind started up last night. Cold front moved in. High today is going to be mid 70s. Glorious. I'm all about the wind today. Absolutely. I went for a ride yesterday on my KLR. I thought I was going to cook. It was terrible. Anyway. What am I up to today? Well, I am going to attempt the Hellhole Pass loop on my Honda. That's right. Now, I'm heading up into the Beaver Dam Mountains. If you're not familiar with the area, I'm in southwestern Utah. I'm coming out of St. George, Utah, into the Beaver Dam Mountains here. And I'm en route to... Uh, this is the road to get you up to West Mountain Peak, but I'm going to break off and head a little farther west, which is the Hellhole Pass loop or road. And it's going to be, well, I'm going to go up and then I'm going to go down and I'll be out into the desert a little farther west over here, kind of like the Beaver Dam Wash area. I've done multiple videos out there. Uh, one thing about this route is uh, the... Uh, the descent down from the pass is steep and loose. But I feel like my skill is good enough that I can tackle it today. I am by myself. I feel pretty confident about it. So like I said, I do feel that I, I can tackle this by myself. No problem. I can handle the 300. If I drop her, I got no problem picking it up. Um, I do have an itinerary with Jen. She knows where I am, my route. And I've got the uh, inReach on me in case something bad happens, I can get an SOS out. That is if I'm conscious and able. <laughs> so, all that aside, I think it's going to be an absolutely fantastic ride today. The weather is cooled off. It is glorious out here. So, I plan on having a just fantastic time on my 300. So, let's get to riding. Alright, there's lots of uh, blind curves. And this is a pretty steep ride, so I'm not going anywhere fast. Because, uh, as always, pretty careful out here. I don't want to end up on someone's hood, whether it be a truck or a side-by-side. -side. I got a new piece of gear on the bike. I've got the, uh, if you can see them real quick, right by my knees there. I've got the Tusk gas tank saddlebags on. Giving those a shot today. I think I got them arranged okay. They're, well, they look kind of jacked, but you kind of got to move them around so they're not bumping into your knees. And uh, yeah, they're actually pretty helpful. I can put some stuff in it. Oh man, be a lot of this. So we'll see how they, they turn out. Like I said, I think I got them okay to where the strap's not going to burn off or I'm going to cut the strap off when I try and turn the bike. We'll find out anyway. But uh, I think they'll be uh, pretty helpful in the long run. And you can take them off. I can throw them on the KLR or the 250 or the Himalayan or whatnot. So I'll give a close-up shot of them a little bit later as we make our way up here.
haven't even got it started and already laid it down. Good lord. Well, so it begins. Oh. Oh, really? All right, well. Here we go. More fun. Let's see. The designers at Tusk made these kind of hard, which that's good, but uh, well, he just took a lick. So did my pannier racks, and uh, yeah, all right, that was a pretty good fall there. Let's try to uh, avoid more than those, but that was a steep turn right there, and I was in second. I went to shift down in first and got into the ditch there, and well, you know the story after that. All right, let's move on, shall we? Deep. Good lord, I forgot how steep this was. Steep and loose. Yep, there we go. Almost lost her again. Yeah, there's a big side-by-side -side sitting up here, so I was like, you guys go ahead and go first. That way, in case I lay down again, I'm not going to get you backed up or have you run over me. So they're coming back the same direction. So I'll let them go down a bit, give some time before I start heading down. All right, I've given them a few minutes. I think we're good to go. Let's give this a shot. Folded my mirrors kind of in because I anticipate uh, <laughs> laying down the bike. Okay, we're just gonna take this nice and easy. Maybe it won't be that bad. Yeah, there's a couple sections that are dang near baby heads, but uh, I don't know. Here we go. We're going to take this nice and easy. Well, 
Well, so far so good. What do we got going on here? Whoa, that's looking pretty gnarly right there. Oh. Yeah. yeah it's good clean fun here. Okay, far so good. Uh, not too bad. We got slightly gnarly for a second, a little higher up, but uh, it's not so bad down here. I mean, I'm still not down and out of it yet, but there's still plenty of time. And then. Then they gotta get through the spring. I remember that being a little interesting. So we're by no means out of the good stuff yet. And I know that side by side's coming back this way. So kinda wanna get through here before I encounter them again heading up. But if I do, it's not that big of a deal, so. I would just rather not. Okay. There we go. Yeah, man, she's pretty steep coming down. Wow. Steeper than I remember. Go. There's some nice loose stuff. Okay. So far, so good. done with the descent just yet but we might be through some of the shit Here we go. That looks interesting down there. Mm, yes, indeed it is. I think this is where I laid the XT down last time I attempted this. Pretty sure I hit this section and just wiped out. Which is understandable.
That was an interesting section, jeez. Ooh. Woo, all right. Yeah, I don't think I'll be taking the KLR on this particular route. Man, I wonder how many times I'd lay that down on this. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. All right. Yeah, it does get pretty narrow in here. Oh man, well. Well, the 300's tractoring through this pretty well. Oh man, all right. Here we go. About to get kind of interesting. Where do I want to go down? Right there. Whoa. Whoa, shit. Just about lost her on that. Okay. Well done, sir. Well done. Ooh, wow. Man. Last little section was interesting. I got a nice little stretch here of relatively gradual terrain before I drop down into the spring so He already accepted the fact that I was going to lay the bike down today, so doing so is not really bothering me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's going to happen. One way or another, I'm going to lay this Honda down. So I went ahead and got that over with early, though. Whew. Whoa, that's a good drop. I think we're heading down into the spring now. Whoo, man, that's a steep one there. Oh, just sliding down that thing. Dang. Yeah, you start seeing this stuff on the ground. Plastics. We're getting close to the spring. I remember that was pretty interesting.
yeah. Huh. I thought we'd have some water in here. Oh boy. Uh, we'd have some water down here. Not this time, huh? All right. Well, we got down it pretty good. It would be interesting to go up that. Maybe I'll do that sometime. That might be a job for the XT, to be honest with you. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, man. You hit some of this stuff at any speed and you're going to lose it. Right on. All right. Let me look back here and show you where I came down. Yep. So, right in front of me, peak right there. That's West Mountain Peak. The radio tower's on it. We came down from, uh, you can see kind of the saddle, the pass up there, down through all that. Pretty cool. That was an excellent ride down. Some interesting spots for sure. Feels great out here. Wow, it's, it's, there's no wind. Unbelievable. All right, I'm impressed with myself. I didn't lay the bike down through all that. All right, now we're gonna Head on out, straight in front of me, off in the distance, that's Beaver Dam Wash dropping in and past that fine state of Nevada. All right, now I've gotten on. This road here will take me out to uh, the big main dirt road, which will lead me into Highway 91. So this is just straight on fun riding now. Up and down through the washes. Oh, yeah. Nice.
Yes. This one will sneak up on you. Come around that corner. <laughs> you don't hit the brake, you'll go right off the edge. Oh man. That's a nice blind corner there. All right, this looks like a good place to grab a bite to eat. I'm starving. So uh, we'll come down back in the desert, out of the mountains. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab some meat, so let's back up in there. Not bad at all. Got a little wind going now. Yeah. So anyway, here's a close-up of those Tusk gas tank saddlebags. We're doing all right. I wouldn't put anything in them that you don't want broken. Because uh, in case you lay the bike down, just saying. I mean, it is a little hard, but uh, I mean, some water and a hat and sandwiches and stuff like that. Yeah, I wouldn't put a camera or anything in there. But um, yeah, see, got some extra gloves, water bottle. I mean, you know, all those little things that take up space in like the the tank bag or something like that. I mean, any, any place you can find or attach something to put some gear on it's good with me so yeah. oh there's a sandwich and a bottle of water yeah that'll work I mean, these things take up space everywhere else so you know what i'm saying there you go. nice all right refreshed get back to it back on the road very nice all right here we are Ooh, it looks like the grader has been through here this road is chill to ride so I'm going to head on back to Highway 91. All right, here we are. <clears throat> Highway 91. All right, that was an excellent ride through Hellhole Pass. The cool weather definitely helped too. So now, looks like I'm back in the wind. Well, I don't think it's gonna be as bad riding back into St. George as it was coming out of St. George, but uh, we'll find out. All right, I seem to have my mirrors back to where I wanted them. It is breezy. Yeah, this will be a fun ride back. Nothing the Honda can't handle. We're getting pretty used to riding in the wind now. Well, there you have it, folks. Hellhole Pass on the Honda CRF 300L. I think she did just fine. And I think the rider did pretty good himself, so uh, that worked out well. Only laid it down once. Can't complain. More content to come, folks. Thanks for sticking with us. Appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out tremendously. Encourages us to keep continue producing content. So thank you very much for watching and support. We greatly appreciate it. Stay safe out there, folks. We will see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.